Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog. Um, again, we are in a new location for um, this week's vlog because we have um, continued the birthday celebrations and come to the Cotswolds for like three nights. Um, we actually arrived last night. Um, we set off in the afternoon because basically we'd got back from Paris the night before. We stayed over, sorry. sorry. Um, we got back from Paris the night before. We stayed over um, at Aidan's parents and then drove back to Manchester, got all the stuff and um, arrived in the Cotswolds quite late in the evening. Um, so last night we just went out for a really nice meal at a pub nearby. Um, and then today, uh, we have come to a local kind of like village um, to where we're staying called Burford. Uh, we drove through it last night and we thought it looked really cute. So we've come for a little bit of a wander today. Um, we actually have Wally with us. Uh, it's his first holiday. We've got off to a bit of a shaky start, haven't we? Yeah, it's been ups and downs. It's been ups and downs, it's been eventful. Um, Basically, Wally, he's a, I mean, he's a uh, sausage dog, so he's a bit of a barker by nature, um, but particularly when there's food about. So we went down for breakfast this morning. It's like dead serene. Everyone's sat there. There's like classical music playing and Wally's just barking his head off. Um, so we ended up just like eating our breakfast separately. Um, so yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Great start. But he um, wasn't too bad last night. No, he was fine last night. And I think he's just been really tired. Um, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. But that's our excuse anyway. That's our excuse, yeah. We, we just make up excuses, like we just hand out different excuses whenever he's misbehaved. There's a bakery there, by the way, Maybe we can go back there. Yeah, but that's all that other one with a cute name. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm really tired today. Still catching up on sleep from Paris. So I think we're gonna head, uh, grab a coffee, maybe a cake or something, and then just have a wander around. I think there's some like quite nice um, antique shops and things like that around here, so we'll probably do some of that. Ooh, those crisps. I love these crisps. Um, I've never actually tried that flavour. I would like to though, but I love the truffle ones. We didn't really have um, a plan for the day, but we have decided just to drive from like village to village um, and just have a bit of a wander really. So we have arrived at our second location, which is um, called Burton on the Water, which is as the name suggests and um, on the water, um, it's super cute. Uh, but we went to the nicest little shop in Burford. It was called At Home with the Ruds, I think. Um, but it was just like a the most gorgeous little interior shop. So I got a few bits there, which I will show you later on. Give up. You can make it. Do you think he's looking for food? Yeah, maybe. If you go the other way, it'd be much easier. Well, I'm I sure you already know that. <laughs> Not to be patronising. <laughs> So we have just pulled up at Dalesford, um, which is like a farm shop and a restaurant, um, which I'm sure like lots of you will have heard of. Uh, but we actually were just saying that we came here um, a few months ago in the summer after we went to see Wally for the first time. He was like five weeks, wasn't he? Yeah. And he, he was, was like tiny. this big. He was so small. And we went to um, go and see him because we picked him up from like around the Cotswolds. And then we came here for lunch afterwards, so it's weird being back with 
a big oh sorry <laughs> sorry oh, sorry would you like a stroke um it's weird being <laughs> so yeah it's weird being back here now he is all big and yeah you're gonna be one he's soon boy. oh he's tired now he's tired he's a sleepy sausage <laughs> big yawns for the camera say hi friends i'm the cutest boy in the world <laughs> is like my dream destination all the rosé we've had this before haven't we this one oh magnum yes please birthday energy <laughs> oh look Aiden we've got limoncello oh look look at these we've got old-fashioned espresso martini negroni oh nice Hazelnut espresso martini. That sounds so nice, doesn't it? That's a usual margarita as well, that sounds good. Oh, they've got more here. Those nuts are well nice as well. Yeah, a hamper from here would be like a dream gift for us, wouldn't it? What do you think, Bubs? No, <laughs> Kisses for your friends. Wow, that's incredible. Have you ever seen a hamper like it? Last time I came here, I didn't pick up a candle and then I regretted it afterwards. So I think I'm going to get one this time. I love the diffusers as well. I feel like they're all refillable, which is good. These little bottles. But yeah, they are. So you buy the little um, diffuser bottle and then the um, fragrance separately. Oh, fig leaf. I love the smell of figs. We have come to um, one of the restaurants in Dalesford and we've got a very tired boy on our hands. Hopefully he's just going to settle down. Um, but it's a really nice setting in here. I think it's like the same restaurant as um, if you came to the spa. They've got a Bamford spa here, so um, it's really, really nice and cosy. So food has arrived and I'm absolutely starving. We're literally eating lunch at 4pm. Um, I've gone for the beef shin um, it's got like a mushroom sauce it looks incredible and Aiden's got a chorizo like avocado and um, like salad wrap which also looks really good I think we're gonna do a bit of a sharing situation so we have just arrived back at the hotel and I thought I would give you a little room tour um, obviously the natural light has gone now so you'll have to excuse how bad the lighting is um, but this is the room that we are staying in we have an absolutely huge bed yet again um, I feel like when we go back to sleeping in our own bed we're just going to be like gravely disappointed after <laughs> two hotels with the most incredible beds um, but yeah it's got I'm pretty sure this is William Morris wallpaper Gee, I think it is do you think it is? 
Uh, it looks that kind of style. If it's not, then it's, yeah, it's like... It's Very like, similar. Um, so we'll go with that. William Morris wallpaper. A gorgeous, like, velvet um, bed. It uh, matches so nicely with the wallpaper as well. And then, obviously, we've got the bedside tables with these big lamps. Um, the lighting in this room is really good as well. You can, like, dim all the lights, which is, like, just, like, a little touch that I think makes a big difference. Um, and then over here, we've just got a little, um, like, armchair, um, a console-style table, um, a dressing table over here, which has got all of my stuff on it, um, a TV, and then the best thing about this room is that out here, um, we have, like, access to their garden. Um, obviously, it's going to be dark, but is there any lighting on? I feel like there is a light that comes on. Hmm... Okay, it's not coming on, but I will show you that tomorrow. <laughs> that was a bit of a fail because you literally cannot see a thing. But there's like an outdoor garden out here that I just think us and one other room have like access to, which is really great, obviously, um, if you are bring, a d bring in a dog. So we are in room two. If you do come and stay at the Double Red Duke, um, just in case you want to request it, if you are bringing your um, doggy. Um, and then through here, and here is just like a little cupboard um, and a very slim, but uh, still a full length mirror, which is fab because I just think so many hotels forget to add one in and I do find it really annoying when they don't have them. Um, so yeah, that is much appreciated. And then this is the bathroom. Hello, Wally Babs. Um, we've made a bit of a mess to be fair, but we've got an absolutely huge shower. Um, most of the rooms as well at the Double Red Duke have like, uh, like roll top baths. Um, the one we stayed in last time did, but this one just has the huge shower. Um, and then on here, you've got the 100 Acres products. Um, you might have watched my talks about them. Oh, I think it's my small business gift guide. Um, I talked about 100 Acres products, but since we last stayed here in the summer, I've just been obsessed with them. And they just smell absolutely amazing. So it's nice to have those in the room as well. Um, and then we've got a big old sink and a little mirror. And um, also, I've been meaning to speak about this for ages whilst it's here. Um, so this is the Drunk Elephant Baby Facial. And honestly, I believe this has like fully changed my skin. Um, I started using this probably back in December. Um, now, I have used it before. I got a small one, like a little like miniature bottle years ago when I went to New York and then ever since I tried to get hold of it and um, as far as I'm aware basically you couldn't get it in the EU uh, because of the amount of like acids it's got in there like AHA, BHA um, and then obviously since we've left the EU I don't know whether the laws have changed but you can now get it um, and honestly this product is absolutely incredible um, I've always suffered with like texture and kind of like little bumps underneath my skin, especially on my cheeks from wearing a mask. Since I've used this, I've honestly had so many less breakouts. Um, and it's the only thing I've really changed in my skincare routine. So I would 100% recommend this product. It is 10 out of 10. I just thought I would mention it whilst I remember. Also, I absolutely love these radios. Um, they've got such like a vintage vibe to them, but obviously they aren't. But the brand is called Roberts. Um, and I've seen them in like a few different colours. I'm pretty sure they do like a navy one, but I think I would go for this beige one. And then obviously it's a speaker as well, so you can connect like to Spotify or whatever. But I love them. And somebody has passed out on the armchair. Oh, sorry. I do apologise. Oh. <gasps> You're a tired boy. Oh, look at the sleepy eyes. I'm sorry, I won't disturb you anymore. Thought I'd do a little haul of the bits that I picked up today from Dalesford and the little interior shop in Burford. Um, so starting off with Dalesford, I went for the sparkling Leobe um, wine. I'm going to have this tomorrow, I think. Well, we're going to have this tomorrow because um, it's my birthday. So I think we'll have this either after we get back from the meal or before or something like that. Um, so looking forward to trying that. And then, this is random, but I picked up the organic... Um, oh, is it focusing? 
basically it's the organic pad thai honey dressing from Dalesford um, just because I am enjoying having salads for my lunch at the minute and I thought this would be a really nice kind of um, option for like more of a Thai style um, salad so yeah I went for that and then picked up two of the um fine tomato candles um all of their candles smell really good but i thought this one was quite different it's quite a fresh one and um, perfect for like your kitchen so i got one for um our house and then one for aiden's mum and then finally I got this, which is, again, pretty random, but it is a plum compote. Um, it says on the back that this goes really nicely with, like, clotted cream ice cream, which I just thought sounded divine. So, yeah, I had to get that as well. And then from the uh, cute little shop, I got this kind of antique-looking, well, very antique-looking candle stick. Um, it's kind of a antique, like, brass with a, like, green underlay. I just thought this was absolutely gorgeous and we love having candlesticks burning in the evening so I just thought this would be perfect and then I also got this which is like a faux eucalyptus thing they had these all around the shop and I thought they looked really really pretty um, but my idea with this is to pop it on um, the like kind of we've got like a shelving unit in our kitchen so I thought we could have these um, hanging down and then I also picked up this really nice vase um, again it's like green and it's got this like sandy colour at the bottom very rustic looking um, but I just thought that was really cute and I loved the colours um, it was a pretty well priced shop as well I thought considering like this was only £16 and um, the candlestick was £26.75 and um, I'm not sure how much this was but it wasn't too bad so we are just about to head out for dinner now um, but I thought I would show you what I am wearing so I've gotten this chocolate brown bodysuit from Zara um, I've had this quite a while now so I doubt it will still be available um, but I've got it on with some black leather trousers just some straight leg ones and some little tiny like kitten-ish heels um, so the restaurant that we're going to is around about half an hour away. Um, I found that in the Cotswolds, everywhere is quite far away. Um, I mean, we did book a hotel that is kind of like in the middle of nowhere, um, but you definitely need um, a car to be able to drive about. Um, luckily, Aidan doesn't really drink. Um, I don't have a driving license still, I'm 25. Um, so luckily he is able to like, drive us everywhere and doesn't mind. Um, but yeah, just something to bear in mind. Um, also, there is like bells going off from a church in the background and they have been for about half an hour now. I don't know if someone's got married or what, but it's like 8 p.m. on a Wednesday. So who knows, but yeah. That's um, the countryside life for you, I guess. <laughs> so we are at for a meal in Kingham. Yeah, Kingham. Um, which is kind of near Dalesford where we were today, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, we did, drove down Sabre Roads. So we've decided to go for a bit of a seafood situation tonight. These are starters and we're just going to share everything. So we've got cod's cheek. Yeah. Ken like Kentucky fried. fried cod's cheek with like curry sauce. Some oysters. My first time trying oysters. And some scallops with uh, like an indusia kind of vibe, I don't know. And our tiger pods have just arrived, which look absolutely 10 out of 10. And I'll wait to dig in, it's amazing. Good morning guys. Um, so it is my birthday today and we are just about to sit down to have our breakfast. Um, we decided to have it in this little like garden area that I was telling you about last night. Um, this is just like outside of our room. We've got some like double doors to get out. Um, so yeah, we're gonna sit and eat our breakfast out here. Wally's barking to try and get to the food. Wally, you after a cinnamon roll, hun? Um, so we're gonna have to keep him on his lead because he's a very greedy boy. But hopefully all should be fine and it is the loveliest little setting for my birthday breakfast. Sometimes you fall Sometimes you fall 
So we have come on a walk this afternoon. Um, it's pretty cold actually, it's quite windy, but it's a nice and sunny day. Um, we're not going to walk for two long. It's like three, it's like three miles, but okay. Um, just we parked at Chipping Norton, um, where we went to this really cute little antiques um, shop. I got a couple of bits, nothing too exciting, but just a couple of like decorative bits. So I will show you those after. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend it. It's called Station Mill, I think, um, if you are from Cotswolds. And yeah, so we parked there, and then now we've come on our little walk. And then I think after this, we are going to head to yet another pub um, for my buffet lunch. I feel like I'm fancy and fish and chips today. That's what I'm, I'm leaning towards, I think. Um, I don't know if I'm quite hungry enough, though. Yeah, don't be too full. Well, yes, yeah, mm, this is true, this is true. We're eating at the hotel tonight, um, and it's like steak. Well, it's meat heavy, isn't it, the restaurant at the hotel? Yeah. Um, so I think we'll get a nice, like, sharing steak of some, of some kind. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But I do fancy fish and chips, so could be on the card. Wally has a new fleece as well. Um, it's from Equifleece, who, if you've got a dog, I mean, I, I imagine you will have heard of them, but basically they do these fleeces in this, it's called like Polartec, I think. Yeah, Polartec, it says on the side, um, which is supposed to be like a fabric that keeps them warm if they're cold and cold if they're warm. And it also keeps them like fully dry as well. I mean, Wally's not one for going into water or in puddles. <laughs> he avoids them, doesn't he? Like, yeah. tip taps around, but um, it's nice to know if he does get muddy or whatever, it's going to keep him um, nice and warm and clean. Don't let your hair get in the way. Can't be defined by your mistakes. You know you're trying, you try really hard. But sometimes you fall. Yeah, sometimes you fall. Please excuse how dishevelled I look, but I am absolutely knackered. Um, we are just like chilling in the room until we have a table booking later. Although we are a little bit unsure about what we're going to do because in all honesty, it's been a little bit of a nightmare with um, Wally. Um, I don't know what's got into him since we've been here. I think... His like routine has obviously been like completely turned upside down on its head. Um, we obviously went to Paris and we left him with Aiden's mom, um, and he's absolutely fine there. But he, um, they have a dog as well, um, and those two just like play all day long. So I don't really think he will have like been napping as usual um, during the day because obviously he's still a puppy. Um, and then. We got back late at night from Paris. He was so excited. He wouldn't sleep. He was barking. He wanted to be with us. So um, he slept on our bed at Aiden's house for that night. And none of us really got much sleep because he's not used to sleeping with us. Um, and then the next day, obviously, we came here. He doesn't love the car, which is completely understandable. Um, and then just since he's like not been sleeping during the day because we've been doing things um, and I just think he is knackered um, but like it's got progressively worse since we got here while he absolutely loves other dogs he loves other people like he's a very like sociable dog normally um, but like today every dog that he saw um, when we were on the walk he barks at and then we went to this little pub for lunch. He was absolutely exhausted. He fell straight asleep. And then this like family came in with like like young kids and he just started like going insane. Um, we had to take him out. And um, luckily like everyone we've spoken to, like anyone who he's barked at has been like so lovely. The woman in the, um, the lady who served us in the pub was just the loveliest person. And she was like, oh like don't, we were like, we'll go sit outside honestly. Like we were just, 
obviously really embarrassed she was like no no go sit in the back so we did and it was okay from like there on but basically we're just a little bit stressed about whether we should actually go into the restaurant at the hotel for the meal tonight because i just think he's in just like such um like a weird mood i guess it's all just like a learning curve though um this is the first time we have done anything like this with him he's like nine months old now so he's still a puppy um it's just a shame because he's such he is just the best boy he's such an affectionate like lovely dog and obviously i don't blame him at all it's just like the whole complete change of environment change of scenery i just think it's been overwhelming for him and I'm just a bit annoyed at myself for not like thinking it through properly um but yeah i am just sat i sound very down in the dumps but i am i am in a good mood i promise um i'm sat having a cocktail this is the basil and pepper cocktail um that they do here and honestly i think this could be one of my favorite cocktails i've ever had it's in like top three for sure it's like really refreshing um not too sweet either so and then we're also going to crack open the Leo wine that we bought from Dalesford yesterday, which I am so looking forward to. I've had the rosé, like the normal rosé from um, this brand before, but never the sparkling. So that will be a treat. So these are the bits I got from the antiques shop today. Um, the first one is this like sage green bottle. Um, it said it was like French. I don't know. I'm guessing this is an antique, but it said it was like a French um, like ceramic bottle. But I just fell in love with the colour. I love that it's like slightly kind of like hammered in texture um, and uneven. I just think it looks gorgeous and rustic. Obviously, it could pop like a stem or a flower um, in there and just use it as like a decorative um, piece. And then I also picked up this um, like vase pot jug thing. Um, they're looking like they're the same colour on the camera, but actually this one is um, definitely more of a green and this one is more beige. Um, my battery's about to go again, so I need to make this quick. <laughs> um, but this I'll probably use for either a plant or um, some like flowers just as a vase. Um, but yeah, really like that one. And then the final thing I picked up isn't an antique, but it is this like stone um, candle. It is cucumber and black pepper. I love the smell of cucumber. So Sorry, I just changed my battery because it died mid-sentence. But yeah, I absolutely love the smell of this. It is so nice. And I love the little like stone pot it comes in as well. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with those purchases. Nothing too crazy because whilst we're still renting, um, there's no point in me buying furniture or anything like that. Although I definitely would have liked to. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, but I just fell in love with the chest of drawers in there. Um, so I cannot wait to have my own house to decorate one day. Um, but for now, these little bits and bobs will do. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's nearly had his head in our um, cinnamon rolls, but we have just set up for breakfast outside again this morning, and it is another glorious day in the Cotswolds. Do you not think that it feels like really warm for February? Yeah, I feel like we got very lucky. I mean, it's, it's like. Silly. Yeah, like it's cold, but I think in February, like around my birthday, it's normally like three degrees. And it's like nine degrees today, I think it said. Yeah, it's not nine degrees now. Oh, it's nice and warm in the sun though. Beautiful. Oh, is my camera steamed up? Hang on. Is that better? Maybe it's the screen's dirty. Who knows? Um, but this morning we have both gone for a full English, which looks 10 out of 10. Um, and then we've got the cinnamon rolls, of course, which are incredible. And just a little fruit salad and some orange juice. So we are all checked out of the hotel now. Um, and it's turned into the most beautiful day. So we are going to drive um, over to Bicester. It's probably around 45 minutes away from where we are now. Um, and they're actually dog friendly at Bicester. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and yeah, we're going to do a bit of shopping. And then head home. 
So we have arrived at Vista. Um, it's a really nice day. Last time we were here it was in like June and it was absolutely throwing it down. Um, so much so that I bought some stuff from the White Company and the bag like split from the rain and I lost um, the stuff that I bought. That was annoying, but much nicer day today. And yeah, we're gonna go to the shops now. So we are adjusting a designer exchange. Um, I thought this was a pop-up I saw on their Instagram, uh, but it seems to still be here, so that's fab. Um, I have, well, I did a collaboration with them, but I think, did I sell my, I sold a Gucci bag with designer exchange, didn't I? A while ago. Um, but essentially it's just like a consignment store, but you can also sell with them. Um, but I really like this little Prada um, like tan bag. I love the colour of this little Bottega pouch. It's kind of quite orange on the camera, but it's more of like a peachy kind of It's very cute. Just trying on this a super cute little mini flat bag. Um, I love the colour, but obviously I'm not going to be spending any more money because I've spent more than enough this month. Um, but it's super cute. The only thing is, it is quite worn, like around the corners and then like quite creased as well. But um, this is so adorable. This one it is. 2640. Just in Max Mara now, and they've got a really nice, like, felted wool coat. And um, they've only got one, and it's a size 16, but I really like the colour of it, and the shape looks really good too. Um, this is reduced from 1530 to 808 pounds, which is a pretty good discount, almost half price. Look at walls in the top. They do these little carriers at Pista. <laughs> He's just chilling. Aiden's sweating. <laughs> it does feel very weird to be pushing a pram around, but we move. He doesn't seem too bothered by it at first. Like, he literally launched himself out of it um, as soon as we put him in. But now, he seems to be pretty content in there. You having fun? Whee! So we're just in Burberry now and they've got some really cute little cashmere scarves. Um, it's coming up quite yellow on camera but it's more of just like a true beige. Really nice. These are um, reduced to 225 from 420. And then of course they have the classic trench coats in here. Um, although this one, I really like the colour but this is like too fitted for my style. Um, I prefer like an oversized trench coat that's like longer too but um, this is like a really nice classic shape. Um, this is reduced from 890 to 715 so not like a huge saving. This one is more my kind of style but I'm not as keen on the colour. Um, this one is a little bit more expensive, so 1180 um, was 1690 But yeah, I love the style of this one, um, just not super keen in the colour. So here is the one I would go for 100%. Um, it's really thick and the most beautiful, like sandy beige. Um, but this looks like quite a big size. Oh, it's a UK 10, um, and it is. 1,429, no, 1,249 reduced from 2,490, so it's a like half price. Um, but yeah, I love it. And I love that it's got the Burberry print on the inside too. And then just to quickly show you today's outfit, so it's the same as the one I had on the other day. Um, but it is a Zara blazer, which went into the sale so I will see if it's still available if so I will link it um, and then I've just got some leather leggings from Topshop and my H&M boots and my Celine Triumph bag just popped into the white company um, and I'm gonna get a couple of diffuser oils for my diffusers at home um, they've got a few different scents and they are £6.67 so like 30% off um, this one is the white Pompelmo and then this one is Capri um, which I've just read is actually the Mustique scent but they have rebranded it um, it smells really good so I'm going to pick up these they also have some cashmere blend socks in pink and also 
in grey. Um, they're not the normal cashmere bed socks. Uh, they're just like a blend rather than fully cashmere. Um, but they are £19.43. I absolutely love these little pyjamas as well. Just like really simple um, long sleeved striped top and um, like cuffed bottoms. They are... £50 reduced from £75. I really like those. Just in Dior now, and they've got these really nice um, knee high boots in black and tan. Um, they were £1,550 reduced to £930. They also have some of the Dior sling bags. I really want the black pair of these. Um, these pink ones are gorgeous. They are. 774 reduced from 1290. Beautiful. Okay, so I got shouted at for filming in Dior, but I may or may not have made a purchase. Um, so I'll show you that when I get home, but I'm so excited. Something I have wanted for a while now, and well, it's not exactly what I wanted, but I actually prefer what I've bought. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that once we get back. But we are just going to head back to drop off um, Wally's little carrier and then we're going to leave because it's like getting quite late now and we um, need to get back to Manchester which is going to take a good few hours. Um, but yeah, it's been a really nice day, hasn't it? Yeah, it's not yeah. been um, too busy, which I was surprised about because it's Friday and it was um, like really good weather. So I thought it would be busier um, at Vista than it was. But yeah, it's not been too bad at all. Um, it's been really dog friendly as well like everywhere we've been nobody's had an issue with us taking Wally in and he's actually been like 10 times better today hasn't he yeah he's been dead chill um I think last night basically we left him in the hotel room we snuck out really quietly normally he's fine being left on his own anyway but um because we were in the hotel and he'd been like really funny all day we thought maybe he would kick off but he was absolutely fine. He got like 16 hours sleep last night and today he's been back to his normal self. Um, I'm actually thinking about getting one of these prams for at home because he loves it so much. No, not really. I mean, that would be a little bit, a little bit extra, but he's just been like napping away in there. So yeah, successful day. So we have been home from the Cotswolds for around about a week now. So I thought it was about time I showed you the purchase I made in Dior. Um, now you might be able to tell from the shape of the box, but I ended up buying a pair of shoes. I didn't show you these whilst we were in there. Um, I saw them pretty much as we were leaving because um, I spotted a lady in the like shoe like try on area. Um, and she was holding these shoes and I just fell in love. Um, so I asked the sales assistant if they had them in my size, uh, which they actually didn't. And I ended up buying um, half a size down, but I'll just open the box and get into it. So in the box, obviously you've got like the um, documents and then um, two dust bags. And then this is the pair of shoes I ended up going for. I wonder if you can guess. Um, here they are. Um, so they are the classic Dior slingbacks um, in this gorgeous like pale gold leather. Um, they've got the pointed toe, they've got the um, ankle strap which is, um, I think you can probably tell, but um, it says like Jadior as they all do, but it's made up of these um, like bronzy colored diamantes, which I just think is so special. Honestly, I just fell in love with these shoes. Um, I have wanted the black version of these for ages now. Um, they were on my wish list to buy this year, but I just think these are so much more special. Um, I honestly think they are so beautiful. Um, obviously I have already unboxed them. I've literally just been going and staring at them from time to time because they are just so pretty. Um, the heel is, I think it says on the side, it's 10 centimeters. Yeah, 10 centimeters. Um, so really manageable and that's again in the same like fabric as the strap, this like beigey coloured fabric. Now, as I said, they didn't have my size. Um, so I am a 36, but the sales assistant actually said that um, they come up quite big. Um, so they had the 35 and a half, which is the size I ended up going for. Um, and I tried them on and they are absolutely perfect. Um, now I would say I'm more of like a three and a half, a 36 and a half. 
um so yeah they do come up quite big and even these ones um this ankle strap isn't like tight on my foot um but yeah that's just something to bear in mind if you are wanting to purchase these shoes they do come up a little bit big um but yeah they didn't have a pair in the back so i ended up purchasing the display pair I did obviously check them over and they're absolutely fine um, and yeah I just I think they're amazing. My only reservation I had about them was um, would they go with as much as the black pair um, but I was actually thinking about it and I think these are more of like a year round shoe than the black pair are because I think in the summer these are just going to be perfect with like white tailored trousers um, or with like dressier dresses like a white blazer dress or any colour really because obviously I feel like gold goes with everything but I also think they will work really well in the winter um, around the festive season they are going to be perfect and I've also heard that they are really comfortable as well and obviously I've not worn them out but I have like walked around like the flat in them and they do feel like they are going to be a really comfortable pair of shoes so I am so unbelievably pleased with this purchase now pricing wise they were it's on the other shoe so they were £890 but they were reduced to £534 so they were 40% off um, which I think is a pretty decent saving. Now um, obviously they didn't have my size but um, the sales assistant did say they were getting some more in next week so although they didn't have any of the smaller sizes they should be getting them back in at Vista um, just in case any of you um, are after them. So yeah, that was my treat to myself from Vista. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. And um, I really hope you enjoyed um, the vlog and coming away to the Cotswolds with us. We had such a lovely time and I just feel like a like British staycation always just feels so wholesome and like so refreshing. Oh, well, he's come to join to round the video off. <laughs> but um, we both really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Um, thank you so much for watching and we will hopefully see you in the next video. Bye guys.